Hello, everybody. Let me just refresh my screen to make sure that everything is in order here. Oh, there we are. Right. Wait for you, wait for a couple of people to pop on in and say hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I hate that. Welcome to nataliemay.com.au. I hope that you are all having a fantastic day wherever you are. Um, just, ex just bear with me for one moment. I just need to do a little camera adjusting. Won't be a second. Hello, Robin Owen. Is that better? Or was that just showing my guts? Oh, no, that's all right. Okay, first of all, um, I just want to show you a couple of kits that we have available that have just been released. This is the Moody Blues scrapbooking layout kit using the brand new collection from Uniquely Creative that's just been released. So this is a four layout kit that is available online and um, available for you guys. So it's one, two, three, four, and it's a $36 kit and you get everything that you need to create four scrapbook pages. Um, and so that's really awesome. So you'll find that online. So that's one of our new kits. Secondly, this is the Epic Sweet Life Kit using the Vicky Booten papers that have just been released as well. Um, this, this was super fun to make. I loved making this kit and let me show you what's in it. So we've got one, two, three layouts, four layouts, five layouts and a double page. Uh, so this is a, I think it's a $68 kit and you get a ton of leftovers in this kit as well. So you can find those online with nataliemay.com.au under kits section. There we go. Let me get those out of the way. So I have been um, keeping a little bit of a secret and I'm absolutely over the moon because most of you know that I work for a couple of big international companies, Stencil Girl, who of course are an amazing American company doing stencils and I also work for Lindy's Gang. So Lindy's Gang, as most of you know, I am the oh, I don't know, master educator, I think they call me, which I'm blown away about. Um, and I've been working alongside Lindy's for quite a while. Now, I have been working alongside Lindy's to create my own range of magicals, and they arrived yesterday. So they are available online to purchase exclusively on my website, um, in about five minutes time. So do you want to see what they look like? Drum roll please. All right, sleeves are up. This is called the Natalie Mays Words of Wisdom Collection of Flat Magicals. These are some of my favorite colors and they are super exciting. So I'm gonna talk you through these and have a bit of a play with them. So this is a set of one, two, three, four, five magicals, and these are colors that I have personally formulated to, um, and, and played with to get exactly what I want. So we have got some fantastic colors. Let's have a look. Where are they? There we go. And I am so excited that these have just arrived. I'm just going to zoom my camera in just a little. But if you get seasick, look away now. Oops, 
It's a little closer than I thought it was going to be. That's a bit better. All right, so these are Flat Magicals. So the colours we have got, and you guys are going to love these names. We have got Trust the Process Red. It is what it is, yellow. Just Be Kind Cobalt. Don't Overthink It Orange. Commit to it teal. So I named these based on some of the things that I say all the time that are not sweary words. Uh, and um, I am absolutely, I'm all over these. So what I wanted to do was create a range of colours that are really, really awesome. So this is what we've got here. We've got some nice, bold, strong colours and that's what we're going for. So we've got the Just Be Kind Cobalt. Commit to it to Louise, there's somebody at the front door, love. Uh, Trust the process, red. Don't overthink it, orange, and it is what it is, yellow. So again, beautiful, big, bold colours. So let's have a bit of a look through each individual colour, and I will show you some of the samples that I have made up. So I've done them on a few different sorts of papers as well, because that's really, really important. Um, so for those of you who don't know what Lindy's Magicals are, first and foremost. So Lindy's Magicals are a pigment dye-based powder that is dissolvable. So what that means, the pigment means, the pigment is, means it's full of colour. The dye means it has a fantastic permanency to it. Sorry, having a mind blank. Um, pigment dye-based powder, so we've got the pigment, the dye means the permanency and the powder means we have to activate it to get the magic to happen. So therefore it is, you can activate it in anything. It could be activated in water, could be activated in like a paint or a modeling paste. As long as you activate the powder, that's how we get it all to happen. Um, so these colors are right up my alley. So there's a couple of different ma magicals that you can get. You can get the, um, the shimmer ones and you can get the flat ones. Uh, for me, this set is all about the flat set, so the ones without the shimmer, all right? So that's what I was chasing with these. So let's have a look at the yellow. So this is the, it is what it is, yellow. So on this piece of card, this is on a piece of Vicky Booten's foundation paper. Um, I've stamped an image here and we have, I've painted it on here and shown you that you can get some really intense yellow. And then I've done the sprinkle and spritz down the bottom to show you the different sorts of colours that you can get out of the sprinkle and spritz. And I'll demonstrate this in a minute just to show you. So I love that one. We have then got Don't Overthink It Orange. So Don't Overthink It Orange. So we are looking at a really nice, intense, rich, juicy looking orange here with... The sprinkle and spritz down the bottom has got these gorgeous hints of red through it. So it's got this really nice depth. Uh, the question has just been asked by Elizabeth, will these be in sprays or more colours? So this is a set of magicals uh, called Words of Wisdom and um, I haven't spoken about doing sprays just yet, but I'll, I'll bring that up with the boss. Just Be Kind Cobalt. So this is a beautiful, rich, rich navy blue. Um, what I love is the depth of blue in here. And as you can see in the sprinkle and spritz, you can get these beautiful, so you can see it's like it's a, a pink based blue and it's got this beautiful, you get these little specks of uh, pink all through it. This is the Commit To It Teal. Now this color is a bit of a chameleon. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So here where I've painted it on um, and dissolved all the colour first, it's, it's a real teal colour. Then when I did the sprinkle and spritz, uh, the blue aspect of it has come out with lots of elements of green and yellow through it. So this is stunning. Michelle Pentland, have I got plenty in stock? Yes, I do, Michelle. 
Uh, this color is called Trust the Processed Red. Trust the Processed Red. So this is a rich, deep red. Very warm. Um, it's got a little bit of an orange undertone going on through here. And with the sprinkle and spritz, you can see that it's got that gorgeous magenta coming through, bits of orange coming through. Um, and then we've got some more of this deep, deep red here as well. And is that all of them? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so there you go. We have got Trust the Process Red, Commit to It Teal, Just Be Kind Cobalt, Don't Overthink It Orange, and It Is What It Is Yellow. So they are some fantastic colours. I've got some, I've had a bit of a play with them on different surfaces as well. So this is on just plain white cardstock that I make cards out of. And um, I will have a bit of a play with that today. So you can see the colors are still the same, but we get a little bit of a different sort of reaction here with our splatter. And again, so you, the Commit to It Teal has, when I've used it on a different paper, it's gone more of a tealy color through here. This has got, oh, this one's my favorite. I don't know if you can see up close how amazing this is on here. Where are we? That, that separation of color is amazing. Really, really cool. Trust the process red. It is what it is yellow. It's such a beautiful golden yellow. Don't overthink it orange. And then we've got, where did I do it on watercolor paper? Oh, I had a bit of a play here, mixing some of the colors together. So I've used the red, the blue and the teal and blended them together and they just, they just melt together just beautifully. Uh, watercolor paper. I love watercolor paper because it reacts different again to your colors. So let's have a bit of a look here on watercolor paper. We have got the Don't Overthinker Orange. And the yellow looks different again. Get some little specks come out. And the red again, look how deep that beautiful color is. And the teal and the cobalt blue. So let's have a play. Let's put them aside and let's have a play. First thing I want to do is I just want to stamp a couple of images because I didn't do that off camera and we've had a super busy day and didn't realise what time it was. Um, so I've just got my stamp press here and I'm using marshmallow cardstock. Let's pop that down there. I'm going to pop it straight in the middle. So, oops, there we go. Did you pop them online, Lou? Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, babe. All right, so that people are already buying them. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Rightio. So I'm just going to ink that up. So I'm just using, um, oh, the hot delivery guy's here. <laughs> um, I'm just using the black soot uh, archival ink. And just going to push that down. Now, something else that some of you might have noticed, I've got some, um, I've got like the stamp press tool in to rub over the top there. So that's available online in the new for May section, or you can find it in under tools. Okay, so it's a, I call it a felt knob. I know it's a technical term, isn't it? But for those of you who don't like pushing down on your stamp press, that's my guy. So I'm just going to do a couple here. So I'll do a couple on marshmallow cardstock. I will stamp a couple on watercolour paper. So this is a 300 GSM. <laughs> Hello, Jessica May. Why are you calling me an idiot? Darling, daughter, child of my loins. Oh, is that because I said hot delivery guy? Well, he is the only hot one that we have, so. All right, down we go. Oh, I missed a bit. Let's just restamp that baby. Uh, and I'll do another one here with watercolour paper. So it's a 300 yep, GSM watercolour paper. It's a nice, rich, heavy watercolour paper, and that's what I love. I don't use cheap and nasty watercolour paper because it just collapses and falls apart um, and so I like to use something with a, a bit of sturdy weight behind it and then I'm just going to use the A5 card that I sell uh, we use it as a 
like for, for making cards with the card packs. So I wanna pop that there. Give it a nice juicy ink with the black soot. Use my knob. Beautiful, I have missed a bit in the middle here. Give it another stamp. Give it another bit of love. So as you can probably understand, I am a little bit excited about my new Lindy's. It's just so really awesome to go through the process of designing my own set. Um, this set was originally, <laughs> originally designed based on the colour of my nail polish at the time. So I had a range of um, bright nails. Where can I put that? Here. Um, and anyone who watches any of my videos will quite notice every now and again I might have different colour nails. At the particular time, we had, I had these, that this was the colour of my nail polish. So, um, and then I wanted to give them all awesome names. So thinking about it, the, the things that I say all of the time is, you know, it is what it is. In fact, I say it so much that it's tattooed on my arm. It is what it is. It's something that's important to me. Um, Just Be Kind Cobalt. I've got a t-shirt that I wear all the time that says Just Be Kind because that's all we have to do. Um, Commit to it teal. Ha, anyone who's done a class with me will know. What do we do about colour? You put it down, you just commit to it. Don't overthink it. Trust the process. Simple as that. Um, the stamp that I'm using, uh, Faze just asked the question. The stamp that I'm using is uh, from my Just Be Kind, my Just Be Kind stamp set. Okay, so that is one of the Natalie May scrapbooking stamp sets. Vicky Matthews has just commented, hello, what have I missed? Well, Vicky, what have you missed? Let me show you what you've missed. You have missed the release of, you know, you haven't missed it at all because I'm still here, Natalie May's new magicals called Words of Wisdom. So this is my own collection that I have just formulated. Happy, happy, happy. All right, let's play. So what I'm going to do before I start is I have got my colours here. I have got my spoon here. So I'm using my Nuvo spoon. I've just got a little paint palette. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to give them a little shuffle first, open it up. And I'm just going to use a small amount. So a small amount means exactly that. It's a, it's a bee's whisker put the lid back on straight away because it does not vacuum up very well. <laughs> Just saying. And so this is the orange. Don't overthink orange, which is something that we all do way too much. Let's put the yellow. It is what it is yellow. So let me show you how much I'm putting on my spoon. Can you see that? There's like very, very, very little on that spoon. Commit to it teal. And again, these are flat with no shimmer. So these are a, a beautiful, rich dye sort of color. And just be kind, cobalt. Just give that one a little backwards and forwards, love. There we go. I'll take that out because it's annoying. Right. I always put, when I'm making up my colours like this, I always put them in front of me, first of all, how they're sitting in my palette so I know what colors I'm working with. So I've got that one, then that one, then that one across the top there. And then I've got this one here and that one there. So I've got no excuse to mix up my colors. I'm now using a pipette and some fancy Adelaide water. Not fancy. Um, these are available online for I think $1.50 each for the pipettes. And um, it's about three mils that I'm putting in here. 
Um, or you, by the end of today, you'll be able to buy a packet of, I think, 10 of pipettes. We're just popping them online at the moment. So squeezing some, uh, just tap water straight into here. And do these dry permanent? They have a permanency to them. They dye the paper. Lynn's just asking the questions. Um, so they dye the paper. If you don't activate it, they will um they will rub off but they definitely have an excellent permanency to them all right let's get into it i have got some fresh water here in front of me i have got some paper towel and i've got puppy training pads down in my background here to soak up any spills because i am notoriously clumsy all right let's do this let's start with the lightest color which is the yellow so i like to give it a little stir the color that you mix up in here, it's all, you can, you can build the color. You can make it stronger just by adding more power to, powder to this mix. So this is quite a really nice, lovely yellow. What I can also do is dip my wet brush, not sopping brush, not dripping, but straight into here. And I can pick up a little powder on my brush and I can intensify. just like that. Okay, so you can see where I've intensified the color there. And that's something really awesome that Lindy's does that not many other companies do. And I think that that's really, really unique. So I can now make it a really light yellow just by spreading this out. And I now have, I've got full control over the color yellow that I want, or I can keep adding to it and make it a lovely rich color. All right, so very, very easy to do. Um, you can mix these powders with anything at all. So you can mix them with um, water like we're doing today. You can mix them with um, hand sanitizer and make like an alcohol ink. You can mix them with um, like gesso or white paint and make a paint out of them. There's so many things that you can do with these. What they are not designed to do, they're not designed to be turned into a spray, okay? So they're not designed to be put into a little spray bottle to make a spray out of, because what happens is the powder, the binder in the powder will clog up your nozzle and make you swear like a truck driver because you cannot get it out of the bottle. So they are not really designed to go into a water spray. So I'm just letting these air dry. I could heat set them. And I'm just gonna intensify that orange up in here. So I'm just adding a little powder to here. About a bit more, let's make it more orange. And I'm dissolving all the powder because the powder is where the magic is. So don't overthink it. And now I'm just using a wet brush to tone that back to, to there. So I love that. All right, you see that beautiful, such a pretty color. I'm not a huge, I haven't always been a huge orange fan, but I like one that's got some punch behind it. All right, let's play with the red. So reds can be notoriously difficult. So with the red, you need to give it a really good stir in here and dissolve all of those pigments, all of those, all that powder and then get it on there. Now this is on the marshmallow cardstock, so it's a heavy mixed media cardstock. And while it is wet, I'm gonna dip my brush in and intensify it so I can do that. And I'm still dissolving it as I go. And now I'm just gonna spread out that color so I get a nice little shade of red there as well. Gorgeous color. Lovely, pop aside. Um, so these retail a set of five. Uh, retail on the website on nataliemay.com.au for $34 as an introduction special. 
they will next month they will come in at around $36 based on the current Australian dollar American dollar situation um, look at that teal gosh that's so good uh, so yes the the dollar is not necessarily our our friend at the moment Miss Louise is agreeing with me in the background so um, we have done them for you for this special price of $34 a couple of bucks off the recommended retail. All right, so this teal is beautiful. So it is a really, really rich teal. It almost looks a little blue on camera. It's not blue, it's quite teal. Loving it. All right, and then uh, the last one I will do is this Just Be Kind Cobalt giving it a little stir in the pot and oh beautiful so this has definitely got more of a blue base to it whereas the teal has got more green to it and it is definitely more of a teal color so a little bit of dry powder on here oh look at that and now I've gone super rich and I need to dissolve all of that powder of course because I've put it on there dry loving it and I'll bring that up to camera I know that there's a little reflection but you can kind of see how that's looking and that's with my just be kind stamp in the background there so I am loving them they they're absolutely gorgeous so if I want to mix any together can I mix them together let's find out do I need a wider paintbrush I need a wider paintbrush um let me that's probably too wide but that's what i've got this is one of the art by marlene brushes um first thing i want to do is wet my brush and i always want to start with my lightest color so i'm going to go in with my yellow oh yes cleaning it off onto here now I'll go with my orange The red's going to be bold. And I'll do the blue next because there's too much green in the teal to go next to the red, but the blue overlaps beautifully. Oh, I didn't leave much room there, but you get the drift. So that is really cool that they all work in together as well so that is what i was going for when i was designing these i need them to all work together okay you don't want colors that you know if you want to buy a set you want to buy a set that are going to work together really really nicely and now i can be a bit clever can i be clever no not really yes i can so it's dyeing the paper. So the paper's super porous. It's soaking it in. I've just added a little bit more water to it and it's got a bit of movement now and I'm gonna let that drip. Stand it over on the side here against my paper towel. And I'm gonna regret doing that, hang on. Sorry, just off camera, I'm trying to stand it up and it doesn't wanna stand up by itself. So there you go, pop it aside. All right, let's do some sprinkle and spritz. This is fun and it is messy, because we love that. First thing you wanna do when you sprinkle and spritz is get everything else out of the way. Get yourself a dry paintbrush, dry paintbrush. Now you can use a fan brush, you can use really anything that you like, any size that you like. Now I'm gonna do it all on this one, okay. So sprinkle and spritz. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use, it is what it is yellow, take the lid off, have that lid here. Dip your paintbrush into the powder. You don't want to over dip. 
a little bit goes a really long way. All right. So, and then I'm just going to tap the color. Straight onto there and put the lid straight back on to that. Then I'm going to use a water spray bottle. Um, water spray bottle, doesn't matter what water spray you use. I highly, highly recommend doing it on top like this. Okay, so what's going to happen is it's going to activate the powder from the top, not the side. Because if we do it from the side, like this, it's just going to push everything that way. So we want to go on top and we want to spray, 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 and we want to activate all of that powder. So I'm going to add some orange to that. So if I want to add another color to it, I still need to activate that powder. Okay, so Lindy's, Lindy's gang have been around 25 years. So they are one of the very first companies to come up with this awesome pigment powder product. And they, I've worked with Lindy's for so long because they have longevity. Their company has been around for such a long time. And they are a family business based in Washington in the States. Everything is hand packed in their home. They have been around for a really, really long time. And I think that that's super important. Um, they are not manufactured and made in China. They are not a rip-off product from another product, another brand, um, or anything like that. They are the real deal. Let me bring that up to camera to show you and hopefully not get too much reflection. Look at that. So you can see up here, hang on, let me take that up to the top here. You can see here, it hasn't totally activated that powder. All right, it's a little bit, um, well, you can still see it's, it's a powder on the top, right? I still need to activate that just a little more. So just give it a bit more of a spray and more pigment's going to come out. And then I'm just going to put it aside to air dry. Oh, now I'm running out of room. All right, floor, hang on, floor, floor, floor. Now, something else about these, because Lindy's have a permanency to them, if you do this in a white t-shirt, for example, you are going to wear it. Um, it may spray everywhere. So just be aware, crafting in white, never, ever a good option. Um, but pop an apron on. Uh, if you lean over the table and dip your boobs in it, it's going to be a permanent addition to your boobs because it has a dye in it. It has a binder in it that binds everything together. So just be aware of that. What so, kind of apron do you wear? I wear a Natalie Mae scrapbooking apron. You can find those online. Thank you, Louise. Uh, Says me not wearing an apron. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Okay, so I have got Commit to It Teal and Just Be Kind Cobalt. Let's Shit, I need an apron because I've got a really nice top on today, by the way. Okay, just chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> Louise, Louise can't get me an apron because she's down with an injury. She's, she's rolling around on a, on, a, on a chair today with an injury. Sorry, I'm, I'm just popping my apron on. I can't get back on my stool. Hang on. Oh. I was so excited to share this that I didn't even think about putting an apron on. Oh, and now I'm in a tangle. That's all happening. I'll just drape it over me and hope for the best. All right. Oh, heck. Okay, let's activate this powder. What is going on here? Oh, close enough. Right. Okay, activate. Look at that. Bam. Bam. So pretty. All right, so the... Okay, somebody's asked the question. Love this technique. Can you make a spray? No, don't make a spray out of these, please. So 
Karen, thank you very much for answering that question. I missed that. So with Lindy's, with the Magicals, they have a binder in them. They are designed to do this, okay? They are designed for you to use like a watercolour. So if you want to paint something, you can paint it like a watercolour. Um, they will clog up your nozzle of your spray bottle um, and make you swear. That'll, you, it'll just make you super angry because you cannot... You, it'll clog up your nozzle. So, Lindy sprays are a different product. You can get majority of the colours in also the spray sets. And they uh, this set is currently not available in sprays, all right? And that's a really, really important thing. You could probably put a little in a mini mister for a quick little squirt, but it's not going to be what it is designed for, okay? Definitely not. All right, let's do another one. Let's do, let's do teal and yellow. So again, dry paintbrush, sprinkle it on, put the lid on, spray. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't wanna mix it with orange because orange and blue, whoops, that's a lot of yellow. Orange and blue make brown when you mix them together when they're wet, so you really don't want to mix those colours together. But these are beautiful. And because they're gorgeous, bright primary colours, so pretty. Um, let's add a little orange and see what happens. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it, orange. I'm going to go down here next to the yellow. I'm not going to go straight in over that teal. And I'm just adding an ever so tiny amount. And I still have to activate that powder. And it's, I gave it enough time to soak in. I've gone a bit muddy. The colour's gone a bit muddy here, um, which conveniently is not showing up very well on camera, but it's, it's a bit gross. It's a bit brown. Let me take my paintbrush now and I can just, I'm going to push it out. So this is working on A5 cardstock, which is what the, um, that we sell to, if you make, want to buy a card pack. Um, look at that. So it is a, about a 300 GSM plain white smooth card. And they're available in a pack of 10 with an envelope for about $4.50. Um, I don't love using Kaisercraft cardstock for this purpose. I find that it soaks in and doesn't move around very much. Um, so I don't love that. But, but this is probably my favorite for this. And then I would cut these up and use them to create backgrounds for, uh, for cards and layouts. And if you have placed an order online with me, you may receive a little pre-stamped thank you card. And that's, this is what I use most of the time. <gasps> that's super pretty. And I'm gonna add some teal. Oh. I still have to activate that powder though. And anybody can do this. If you are gonna do it with kids, I highly recommend putting down a million puppy training pads and doing it outside and not on your carpet or your marble bench top because it will stain. I haven't activated it through the middle here and it's super grainy so I still need to do that. There we go. So creating some nice little harmonious pieces of artwork. So I'm just gonna pop that off to the side. Actually, let me show you what else you can do. See where I mixed all the colors together, it's gone gross. The way that I fix that is I get my roll of paper towel and I roll over the top and there it is all there. So yes, I can use that now on something if I was frugal, but here, here is my lovely soft piece of artwork, my background for my card. So if I can cut it up, I can use that for die cutting. I can use that as a background to create cards from. 
So Michelle, Michelle goes just asking, uh, how do I use these? I'd, I'd use them as backgrounds. So there's a card, a card front that I put a die on or I cut them out or I stamp an image over the top. Um, I make a gift card. I can picture that being a background of something. Um, I can use them in my art journal to, you know, for, for collagey backgrounds. So many easy things to do with them. Okay, so you're only limited by your imagination, really. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush now and just do a quick little split splatter. A bit of a splatter sort of background. So just getting some yellow on, now some orange. So for those of you just tuning in for the first time, we I've just announced the release of my own custom set of Lindy's Gang Magicals that I'm absolutely over the moon to get um, to the point that nobody else in the world, like, oh my God, nobody else in the world has got these at the moment. That's, that's huge. That's like, love that. So I'm, I'm just going to let that sit and dry. Um, so yeah, they are exclusive and you can get them online at natalieMay.com.au. Uh, Who's commented? Faye, Faye, could you have placed another piece of card on top instead of the paper towel? Oh, well, absolutely. Let's do it. And I'm just going to use my smushing tool here that I use for my stamp set. Ta -da. Okay, and I've, I've off to making a, a great little background. So if I put that one aside, I can take this one here and let's add some water to it. What will happen? Oh, nothing, because most of it's soaked in to the cardstock, okay? So I've got two quick backgrounds there. In fact, let's add some more color to it. So let's add some more yellow. So yeah, they're really, really awesome. Um, do, you, do you other colors like the pink? Do I have other colors? So Lindy's have got, I think there's close to maybe 50 or 60 colors in the um, in magical so they are available on the website nataliemay.com.au and you will find them under Lindy's magical sets there are a few colors available that are only as singles um, but yes there's a huge range of colors available uh, and they are all absolutely gorgeous colors so I was really really keen on, on building a a set that is, you know, based on those primary colors with a bit more punch. You know how much I love a color wheel and that's the whole concept behind that. I'm just gonna do one more sprinkle and spritz and I'm gonna do it on watercolor paper this time. So this time I'm going to spray the back of my watercolor paper first and that's gonna help stop the curling. Um, commit to a teal, let's do that. Has anyone got any questions about anything else with the Lindy's, with the Magicals? I'm trying to read all the questions at the same time as make pretty things. I'm not real good at it. Hello, Tina. Hello, Sharon. I'm gonna activate that now. Oh, love it. Now, because this is watercolor paper, the water stays on it and it moves around a lot more. Um, so I'm gonna add a little yellow just to spice it up a bit. Oh, that's pretty. And do I have other colors like pink? Yeah, look, I haven't released them myself, but Lindy's certainly do. Lindy's have a huge range of colors. So if you have a look on the website, nataliemay.com.au in the sidebar under um, under Lindy's you'll find the full range of colors there um, the name of my new set Tina I will go over that in a moment so you can see how cool that looks there <laughs> happy days all right now I've got no spots to put these hang on a sec that can go there righty oh so what have we been doing so this is the new Natalie May's Words of Wisdom Flat Magicals set from Lindy's Gang. Um, they are Just Be Kind Cobalt, Commit To It Teal, 
trust the process red don't overthink it orange and it is what it is yellow i absolutely love them and they completely and totally speak to everything that i love about creating um and there's a the colors just look awesome so this is what we've got here when they are the single colors by themselves whoops there we go back into camera and there we go so we've got a little sprinkle at the bottom that cobalt is a beautiful rich blue the teal is stunning we've got a really nice green based teal and it's actually a color that kind of changes a bit too which is really awesome a rich deep red that has some amazing depth this will be really nice if those of you who love to do Christmassy things not me um <laughs> the laughter from behind me thanks girls um it is what it is yellow uh so yeah there's some beautiful colors and lots of different swatches and samples in there and some i'll show you some of the ones again that we have just made as they are drying up this is the one that i kind of mixed all the colors together and we've got that gorgeous rainbow sort of effect going on there um Oh, and the rest of them are on the floor and I can't be bothered bending over. Okay, so this is the three warm colours together where we've got that red coming through, that gorgeous orange and that yellow with the sprinkle and spritz. Can you see how beautiful and bold that is? Love it. Um, what did you buy, Carol? I brought a new Gabby 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 words of wisdom. There you go. Carol has popped in for a shop and no pressure at all, has bought the new set to go home and have a play with. So um, that's exciting. Look at that. So we've got the cobalt, we've got the red, and we've got the blue. That one's still wet. And these little chunks, so just where the pigment has, um, has just dried in a chunk, and that's really, really cool. Um, here we go. This is the other one that we did before, and that's soaked right into the paper. And this is the one that I rolled over with the paper towel. Now I'm gonna bring this up to camera. Can you see that? It looks like fairy bread. Look at that. Not so much fairy bread here, but like more fairy bread in here, which is amazing. So there you go. Um, so I am absolutely thrilled to um, introduce that to all of you. And I, We've got a huge amount of things happening um, at the moment on nataliemay.com.au. We have got new kits coming out all the time. We have got a, uh, we've got, yeah, I think three or four new kits up online at the moment. The class this weekend, I have a class here in Adelaide on Saturday. I think I have one space available. Or you can join me online to do an art journal page using watercolors on Sunday online and that's a $26 class and you get a kit a little kit posted out to you for that as well so you can anyone can join that it is super easy to do and you can go back and watch them at any time um, Louise is currently in the middle of uploading all of the brand new Minte it just walked through the door with the hot delivery guy so um, the new Minte has just walked through the door. So if you hold off for half an hour or so, maybe an hour, that will become available online as well as some more storage solutions and um, the little stamp press knob burnishing tool thingy. I don't know. I don't even know what it's called. I just call it a knob. Um, and so yeah, there's lots and lots of amazing things happening here at nataliemay.com.au. So thank you so much for joining in guys and thank you so much for your support. You can jump online and get this new set of magicals for $34 instead of the normal price of $36 and they will be this price until the end of the month. So that is the Natalie May's words of wisdom in Commit to It Teal. Trust the process red. It is what it is, yellow. Don't overthink it, orange, and just be kind. Cobalt. Um, <laughs> yes, you do need to keep the hot delivery guy employed. Thank you very much. Love that. So thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. And uh, I'll take some photos of all of these samples and pop them up online for you to see with some links very soon. Have a fantastic day, guys. Uh, look forward to chatting with you all soon. And again, thank you for your support.